Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyOT's video on how to burn an ISO or DMG file on a Mac. Okay guys, so I've had a few people from the 123 MyOT website ask me how to burn an ISO file. So in this example, we're gonna use the Windows Blue 8.1 uh, ISO file. So if you go to 123myot.com and then click on the Downloads tab at the top there, All right, and what they're trying to do is actually burn an ISO file. I've got the Windows blue ISO file on the desktop here, but if they scroll down and you've got Windows 8 downloads, Windows 8.1 downloads, and then you can actually download the 64-bit version of, of Windows 8.1 or the 32-bit version, and there's the license key for that. Now, when you download this file, it actually comes down as an ISO file, like this one here. So... A lot of people make the mistake when they're trying to burn it, they actually burn a copy of this file straight to DVD. And this is this is a tutorial which will show you how to burn that, that uh, copy so it actually comes out as a bootable DVD. So if, if you uh, minimize your browser and you go into Go and then go to Utilities, all right, double click on Disk Utility. All right, now you can do this with any ISO file or DMG file, it's the same thing. And what you'll do is you'll grab your file and you drop it into your disk utility, okay? Uh, push in your blank DVD into your DVD burner, okay? And we should see this change here when it starts up. All right, we just wanna go ignore on this one here. We don't wanna burn it in Finder. We want to click on our Windows Blue uh, ISO file and we just want to hit burn. Okay, speed, you can just leave it as is. Oh, you've got this drop down menu, it should come up like this. You've got this drop down menu here where you can change the speed and everything like that. I just leave it as is, I leave these as all defaults and then just hit burn. Okay, and once that burns, it'll take a little while, go through it, it will verify, and then uh, what you will have. Let me just eject the DVD here. Now I burnt one earlier and this is what you should have. Okay, now I burnt a, a DVD earlier and I'll show you what the finished product should look like. Okay, and that's what it should look like here. Now if you wanted to explore it or open it, you can just right click on it and go open and you should have all these files on here. Uh, some people make the mistake when they burn it in Finder, they actually just burn a like, copy. It's kind of like copying, a, 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 a copying this file straight to the DVD um, and that actually won't work. What you actually need to do is burn it as a, as a bootable uh, DVD drive or DVD and uh, when you open, you'll know, if you've, you, you'll know if you've burned it correctly by going in and just opening the DVD you'll have these files there. And these are all the files that are used to actually boot this uh, DVD in Boot Camp or, or whatever you wanna use it for. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and feel free to leave some feedback on the website. Thanks guys, bye bye.